Hi, my name is Caitlin Windsor, and I'm a registered dietitian who specializes in helping my clients develop a healthy mindset when it comes to food and exercise in their bodies. Whether you're struggling with an eating disorder, emotional eating, weight issues, or yo-yo dieting throughout the years, I'm here to help you towards your goals. So many of my clients were scared to meet with a dietitian, either because they had poor experiences in the past with one, or because they were really afraid that I was going to tell them that they can't eat certain foods anymore, like they're bad for them. I won't use that language, good or bad, don't worry. Or they were afraid that I'd judge what they ate on a daily basis. Or that I would require them to change like right away. And that if they don't, that I was going to be upset with them or they would let me down. None of which are true when you work with me. Luckily, my clients have seen firsthand that I am not the food police. I'm not going to tell you foods are good or bad. I can give you some science around them, but I'm never going to use the words good or bad because it's just simply untrue. I also meet my clients where they're at when they come in. If you're coming in and you're you know, just starting out in the process of trying to figure out where all this food noise comes from or why you're struggling with your weight, I'm not here to just jump right in to these are all the things you need to change. (laughs) We can work with where you're at and take it slow and take it at your pace, whatever that is. Some people want to get right to work. Some people are going to need more time. And so I meet you where you're at. Change can feel really scary and intimidating, especially when it comes to food and exercise and weight, body image. And so I do my very best to make my clients feel seen and heard and understood. That's really important for me that my clients feel like she gets it. She gets me. She hears me. She knows what I'm asking for and she knows what I need because we've talked about it and she's asked me about it. I have so much compassion for anyone struggling with eating and exercising weight and body image because it ends up impacting so much of your life. Food is something that connects us as humans. It's social. It's emotional. It also impacts our mental and our physical well-being. So it's not just this like thing over on the side that if we struggle with it, the struggle stays over here. It's like it kind of infiltrates into our whole lives. I understand how vulnerable it is to come in and see a dietitian, to open yourself up to conversations around food and exercise and weight and body image. Food isn't just food. It can become our best friend, a way to try to feel like we have control in our lives, a way to avoid how we're really feeling inside, and even a way just to cope with how we're feeling in life. When I ask a client to tell me a little bit about their thought processes around food or their relationship and mindset around food, I fully understand that I'm actually asking the client to tell me about who they are, what matters to them, what their fears are, and what they've been through. I don't take these conversations lightly with my clients, and truly it helps me to understand how their brains organize themselves around food, what feels safe, what doesn't feel safe, and how come. I know deep down, my clients don't want the food rules. They don't want to be obsessed with the scale and they don't want whether they exercise today or not to rule their lives any longer. I know they want food to food and exercise to be a part of their lives, but not their whole life. I know they want to feel energized and nourished, strong, and like food doesn't run their life anymore. I truly believe that a healthy mindset with food, exercise, body image, and weight is possible. Yes, even for you. I want you to know that my door is open and that I would truly be honored to be a part of your journey. I hope I get to see you in our office soon.